have a look for Lady Stewart because you can see the back of your vote do you think Darren was better at our exercises or Mark? Put in your vote your uh, <laughs> put your vote under in the comments below and we will see who could be with us. Bye! Hi everybody how are you all doing today? I miss you so so much and talking to the rest of the leaders they all feel the same. We all miss seeing your faces we can't wait until we're back in our room um, and we're doing all the crazy stuff we used to do. But for now, we're just gonna keep on the screen. So please, please, please let us know if you're watching. Comment below, let your mum or your dad help you out. Um, or might send us a wee message just so that we know that you're here with us because we miss you so, so much. So let's get started. The last few weeks we've been looking at um, soldiers and boot camp and you might have seen mm, our soldier. Hmm? Do anybody remember what his name was? And he was making us do all these silly things, which I think he might appear again sometime soon. Well, this week I want to talk about whenever the soldiers do stuff that they shouldn't do. And they end up getting this thing called a consequence. Now consequence is such a big word, but actually what that means is if you've done something that you shouldn't have done, or maybe you didn't do something you were asked to do, then this thing might happen to you. So for example, maybe your mum or your dad asked you to go into your room and they've walked in to expect a lovely clean room and they come in and they go, oh, what, this is such a mess. Well, maybe your mum and dad come around and said, okay, no more TV for the rest of the day or we're not playing an Xbox for the whole weekend. Whatever that is, whatever maybe your mum or dad does whenever you don't do things, that is a consequence. And the same thing happened to two people in the Bible, and their names were Adam and Eve. Now, God made and designed Adam and Eve to be together, so that we could have relationships with people. But Eve didn't follow God. Eve disobeyed God. And then she didn't get what God promised, because she didn't follow what God had asked. And actually then she had a big consequence and show why she had that because she let sin come into her life now what is that word sin well sin pretty much means doing things that we shouldn't really do do you ever have that feeling whenever maybe your mom or your dad has said like no more sweets don't be going into that jam jam and getting another packet and they go out of the room and you just put your hand in and you take it and you ever, you ever think oh i maybe shouldn't have done that well, that's sin. It's, it's that feeling, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now, God is such a graceful God. And what that means is God is willing to forgive all your sins. So 
So it's not a sad, sad story. It's a really amazing story because look, although God doesn't want you to sin, and God goes, no, I, I don't really like that. It hurts God's heart. He's still willing to forgive you every time you sin. So whenever maybe you make a little bit of a mistake this week, maybe you you do go and take an extra piece of cake you shouldn't have had, or maybe you didn't tidy your room. Well, just as just as much as you should be saying sorry to your mum or your dad, it's really really good to pray and ask God for forgiveness of them, big sins and them little sins that you do in life, because God loves you so so much and He wants you to have a little piece of that in your heart. So what that means is, do that little feeling of, I did a good thing there. I did, I did a do a bad thing, I did a good thing. That's what God wants you to feel. And sometimes you know, when we do something bad and we don't really feel so good about it, God wants us to, to feel better again. So he comes and he just says, come talk to me. So if there's anything that you want to talk to God about, just go and ask him for his forgiveness. And have a great week this week. And remember, don't be taking any more sweets out of the jam jar. See you next week. Bye.